So that was your double crochet row one, which is slightly different from the rest of them. Okay? Oh, it might look a bit wibbly wobbly, but that can all come out in the wash, so to speak. So we have done that row and we need to go back. We need to turn around. Okay? So I'm just literally going to put it back in that direction. That's turned round now. Okay? That's just turned. So we're now going to continue travelling from right to left along there. You will see that the top has now got another chain on it. So that's how crochet works. The top of every row has got a row of chains on it so that you always, always, always do every stitch into a chain one way or another. Okay. Now for this second row, it's pretty similar, but what we do is we start off by doing what we call a turning chain. So the very first stitch is just a chain, just like you did in the very first place, the foundation chain. So you don't insert your hook, you just yarn over and pull that loop over. That's your turning chain. Okay? And now, instead of looking along the top for the two arms of each stitch, we are going to notice that you, or it's much easier, you're going to have it already organized for you to a certain extent. If you notice that there's a hole there, and a hole there, and then a hole there, and then a hole there. All you have to do now is insert your hook right into the holes. It's much easier, it's much looser, and as long as you've done your original stitching loose, it should be looser and easier to find. And you'll, if you look at the top, you'll see that you've picked up both arms of the stitch. Okay, So we're now no longer crocheting back loop only, we're crocheting the full stitch. So we've lifted that onto the hook, and we are going to yarn over, just like before, and lift that whole stitch off in the first instance, leaving us with these two stitches as before, which we yarn over and lift off together. Okay, so looking for the next hole, we've just gone through that stitch there, And we want to go into this next hole there. Okay. So here we go. Put the hook in. Should go in very easily. And there you are. You've got your stitch on the hook. You yarn over and lift it off again. Should feel nice and loose. Yarn over and take those last two off. Okay. Next stitch in the hole here. Let me demonstrate that a bit better. And the hole here goes in nice and easily. Yarn over and loop off. Yarn over and two loops off. If you pull it out a bit, you can see more clearly what's going on. You can see where you've done that stitch there. So the next one will be in there. Okay, so in it goes, yarn over, and off again, yarn over, and off the last two go. So, one more time, you can see where you went in there last time, so the next one is there, okay, hook in, yarn over, hook off, uh, loop off, yarn over, last two loops off. And you can begin to see the double crochet pattern beginning to emerge 